students should be able to afford their college, graduate with either no debt or debt free or very little debt and have real opportunities. It's been a couple days since a whole college cheating scandal just kind of blew up. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts about that as a, as a college student who put in the time, the hard work to get to Hunter? Sure, I mean, it's frustrating because, you know, a lot of us really, especially at Hunter and CUNY schools, we worked so hard to be here. Um, some of us are first generation students, um, immigrant families, low income. So people put in absolute work um, in terms of testing and um, getting on top of their AP and IB classes in high school and really just being involved. So it's frustrating to see that this type of privilege still exists in the US, especially when I know so many of my peers here at Hunter and other CUNY schools have worked so hard to be here. As far as the admission process itself, will there be any changes? Will there be, because I feel like there's a lot more scrutiny now more than ever just with the general public and, and holding um, colleges and universities accountable. Would you say that there might be more transparency about who gets accepted into schools and, and Hunter included? I think all of us are going to need to make sure that our oversight of the process is very, really focused on. There needs to be more oversight. This can't be allowed to continue. People work too hard to not be treated fairly in this admissions process. Do you think we put too much pressure on students to um, get to certain schools? I think that this idea that there are only certain schools that will lead to achievement is clearly wrong. We prove that every day at Hunter College. And if parents of upcoming high school seniors have learned anything from this scandal, it's to look more broadly at all the different schools and what different schools can give their students and not have their hearts set on one particular brand name. There are so many wonderful schools in this country and there are so many wonderful affordable schools in this country and I hope if anything comes out of this scandal that parents of college-age students understand they should look more broadly and they should think about what's a good fit for their child, where they will learn, where they will have a great, open, civically engaged experience, and not just look at a brand name. I'm assuming you took the SATs, you put in the time, you did the work. With that said, what do you think about everything that's been happening uh, recently with the cheating, the, the fake photos, people being paid to take the test for someone else? Well, that's highly unfortunate, and that definitely sort of crushes the dreams and hopes of a lot of kids who already feel like the system is against them. Or do you, you end up taking it very personally because then you think, am I, am I not good enough? Am I not smart enough? Do you th look at elite schools a little bit differently now in wake of what's happened? I think it, um, for me, I, it didn't come as too much of a shock. I mean, sure, it's shocking in, in many ways, but it's, it brings to light the fact that there is so much pressure to, to get into that small elite group of people and institutions that people are willing to do anything just to be a part of that name brand. Um, and for me, it, it, it shows just how disheartening that is because college an undergraduate education has become more about slapping on a, a label that will get you other opportunities rather than being about education, which is what I think the institution should be for. After talking to some of the students here today, you get the sense that Hunter was a, a top tier school that they wanted to get into. And tell me about that. Why do you think it's the number one for so many of these students? Our students get a priceless education at a price they can actually afford. They leave here with non or very limited student debt, and that is incredibly important in today's world. And what it shows to me is the importance of public higher education, the differences in the tuition, the differences in accessibility in public higher education are highlighted by this scandal, and the importance of what the public colleges do in this country is really underscored.